2018 Tops Update, kind of celebrating Otani, seems to be all the rage. Includes five postseason premieres, something or others, two Hall of Fame highlights, something or others. I have a couple of these boxes. I'm going to open up one today. Uh, I'm going to try and do more for giveaways and whatnot. And I have figured out finally the giveaway I'm going to do for December. Just to run and pass you real quick there while I open this up. Um, I'm going to go back to that format of everything I'm opening from here through the new year, let's say. From here through the new year, not even Christmas. So I guess it's an extra week. Uh, every opening, I'm going to pick one card that I want to keep. And again, it kind of protects myself against getting a autographed Aaron Judge, whatever, whatever, like something I won't want to give up. Um, I get that one card. I'm not going to give away all the cards because it's just too much for boxing and stuff like that. It turned out to be annoying. But what I'm going to do is every card that I put up on the uh, pedestal, aside from the one that I pick, I'm going to put into the pile, into the pool, and we're going to do one big giveaway uh, for New Year's. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, I'll figure out exactly what day. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to be a little quiet here. I'm at home and uh, everyone's still kind of sleeping upstairs. I just got one of my, my uh, son off to school. So I'm just opening it up real quick. I'm going to actually try and upload this today as a kind of a throwback Thursday type of thing I'm going to go for. I had other plans, but then this arrived in the mail for me. So I thought, eh, let's open this up. A lot of good cards. Everyone knows, right? Otani, Acuna. Soto, I believe. Let's see if you get anything good. A lot of cards, too. I mean, for a blaster box, that's a, that's a decent amount of packs. I think they say like 100 cards. 101 cards per box. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's something. Something for us to look at. So, again, for the giveaway. Oh, in order to qualify for the giveaway, comment in the video. All right. And I am going to look at all the comments. And if you comment, you get a chance. Um, I don't know if I should do it. every time you comment, you get a chance, like per video, like once per video, or just comment once. Um, I would like to make the odds better for the people who are a little more involved. So I am going to say, every time you comment in a video, you get a chance. And you get one chance, up to one chance per video. You know, so don't comment 10 times in one video. That doesn't give you 10 chances to win. But every time you comment, I'm going to count that off. I'm going to either put all everything into a hat, box, whatever, and pick a name out of a piece of paper. Or if I could do it electronically, if I could figure out how to do that. I've seen other places do that. Maybe I'll do that too. Um, commemorative patch inside. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll start with that. I'll try and make it clear as we go along. Everyone knows this is not, you know, I'm not exactly professional here. So I'll try and make everything as clear as possible for the giveaways and whatnot. But I would like to do something to say thank you. Uh, for the end of the year and everything along those lines. So I find it fun to be forced to be able to pick that one card that I want to keep. I know I've had a couple of close calls with things in the past. What we got here? Hoskins. Manufactured patch. I mean, that's, you know... I'll even put it up on the stand for now. These things, I think they sell for, you know, buck, maybe five bucks, something like that. Hopefully we'll get something better to cover them with. A lot of this, what should go on the stand, is my opinion. And I will say that if you think I missed something, if there's something that should have gone onto the stand, especially because I miss refractors all the time and stuff like that, feel free to comment, and I will add it. You know, if I see one or two comments about it, I'll try and dig through and find the cards and, uh, you know, fix it so that you get the right things. Just because I don't know any better doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to win the card. So, everyone knows who you're going for. Most overpriced player in baseball. <laughs> DH... With a hurt hurt arm, Otani or Soto or you know hired gun Soto or Acuna, who is I think one of the better players in baseball. Out of those three, I would pick Acuna myself to play on my team. He seems to just be more solid. He's there. He plays great numbers. So Austin Meadows, oh rookie debut though. Aren't these rookie debuts not worth as much as rookie cards? I'm pretty sure I I know that correctly. I'm gonna put Austin Meadows up here. He's a good player. You know, if we could get a parallel of some sort or something, something or other, that'd be great. Vizcaino. Kane. All smiles. Nice card. And again, feel free to let me know if I missed something. There's a player that you think should have been put up there that I didn't. 
Jose Barrios. He started off, he's with the Blue Jays now, right? He hasn't had as good of a season. Oh, boy. This guy, he gets put upside down. I'd like to put him inside out. But, you know, you know the deal. Steve. All-star card. Yeah, I forget about the all-star thing with these things. They, they, they definitely focus all-star heavy and rookie debut heavy, which is neat. So, I mean, you know, a lot of good players, a lot of big names. Hoping to get that one good card, because that way I can pick it. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, two good cards would be great. Make it a hard pick for me. Nice design of the cards. I don't know about the, what they're going for with this. I mean, I get it, but... Brandon Drury. What do we got here? Three-game home run streak. Okay, I mean, is that... But it's not a rookie. But it is a Shohei Otani card. But not a rookie card, officially, right? So that's kind of an in-betweener. So I'll definitely... I'll put him up on the stand. I'm going to cover Jose Altuve upside down with that. Randy Johnson. Reggie Jackson. Nothing special about this, right? It's not numbered or anything else. Hicks. Jimenez. Is he an all-star? Why is he on here? Is he traded? Oh, traded. Okay. All right. Cool. So, for two packs in, Austin Meadows, rookie, and uh, Shohei, weird in between the card. Not the worst thing in the world. The cards look like they're in very good shape, so I don't see any problems with nicks or dents or anything like that. I think these cards are relatively easy to grade, if I remember correctly, right? Salvador. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's, you know, doing whatever you gotta do. What we got here? Chipper Jones, Hall of Fame. Nice looking card. Not numbered or anything like that, but very nice looking card. Do I put that on the stand? I guess not. We're looking for rookies, right? Nobody's, I mean, no offense to Chipper, but there's another Chipper. All right. A couple of Chippers. I'm glad I didn't put the one on the stand, because then you got to put the other one on the stand. I'll start taking it off. All right. So, rookie debut, Juan Soto. It's a nice looking card. I don't know who's a variation. I feel like I just don't know that kind of stuff. What we got back here? Walker, rookie card. Not as big of a rookie. So, for three packs in, we have a Soto and we have an Otani. Soto is a rookie. Rookie debut. I realize, oh, I didn't drop it. Don't worry. <laughs> Dropping your cards, perhaps. Um, rookie debut. So I know that's not quite the same thing, but still. I would say a very nice card. So I'm going to put him up there. I don't know which card is more valuable. The, the Soto that's not a rookie <laughs> Or the, I'm sorry, the Soto that is a rookie, de but a rookie debut, or the uh, Otani. We'll see. Looks like he won something. Molina. I was always, always liked watching him. Fam. Fam, fam, if he can't do it, what's this? Home run derby. Oh, the Yankees were trying to get Schwarber forever. Never quite got him. There's the man. Mike Trout, he's been on my fantasy team from day one. Nice card. Do I put it up on the stand? I mean, I will. I will put him on the stand. I hope I can cover him with something, you know, a little more valuable. I don't blink. Now, what kind of card is that? What is that about? I don't blink. The, the man blinked like nobody else when he was around that base, when he was wearing that thing and saying, don't uh, don't take off, don't throw water on me, don't take off my shirt. Look at this, don't blink. I, I'm sorry, but, you know, again, he's just going to go upside down, off to the side here, in disgrace, goodbye. Just can't help it. 
There's one of those uh, variation, or not variation, but the little 83 inserts. I like the 83 design. You know, for, for back in the day, that was definitely a nice design. Not worth anything special, though, right? I don't think I can put them on the stand. Let me know if you disagree. If you think something should be put on the stand that wasn't part of the prize pool, just let me know. I'd be happy to do so. I don't want to hear about Altuve, though. Altuve's. I like to throw darts at those cards, and I have a lot of fun with the Altuve's. Bayez, what do you got here? Neil Walker. I forgot he was a Yankee for a little while. All right. Gary L. Jr., rookie card. That could definitely go on the stand, right? I'll say... Wow. Does that go above a patch? Uh, probably put it above the trout, right? You got to imagine a rookie card. I mean, you know, trumps the trout, even though I like the trout more. Willie Adames, rookie card. I mean, is that worth... Uh, Anything? I'll put them on the stand. Storybook endings for Will Clark. Legends in the making. Glaber Torres. Rookie card. Okay, well now, we're starting to get a little heavy here. <laughs> with with the cards and the rookies and, and things like that. So, Glaber Torres. Rookie. Doesn't say rookie debut. Just says rookie. I suppose I could put him up there. I don't know. Do I, does he go above Austin Metals? I'm not sure who's worth more. I mean, I know... I would value the, um, is this is a rookie card of Billy Hamilton. I would value Glaber Torres more, but it doesn't mean that he is more valuable. Let's see. All right. Not too bad. And still, five packs left to go. The five packs get a... Guriel, Soto, Otani, Glaber, Adamez. Not too shabby. Mustakas. Get off my base. <laughs> I get it. I like it. Jordan Hicks, rookie. Is that considered to be a valuable card? I don't know. I'll say I'll put him up on the stand, right? I recognize the name. I can't quite place. How's he doing? Verlander didn't work out. Okay, well, here we go. So now here's a Nakunya Jr. rookie. So we're filling them up pretty quickly here. I'll put him above Glaber, I guess. So these boxes do have a lot of stuff in them, I gotta admit. Randy Johnson. Nice looking card. Look at that card. That's quite the card. <laughs> That's an awesome looking card. I gotta admit. Not worth anything, but awesome looking. And John Lester. Good. Still, four packs left and Ray pulled an Acuna. Got some sort of Otani. Got a Soto. Got a bunch of other rookies. Not too shabby. Get one more good card. If we can get something like Relic Key or something like that. Jared Cole. Not a rookie. We'll start here. Not a rookie. Let's see. Castro. Trevor Hoffman. Used to do Marion Rivera's uh, song, or Rivera did his song. I'm not sure which way it goes. This is the guy who spit on somebody, right? <laughs> like umpire or something like that. Can you imagine? Nathan and Foley, the one that the Yankees let get away. Familia. I guess he was traded. Berea. Miles. Alright, three packs left. Can't say I got any complaints. Biddle, don't know you, Matt Harvey, man, remember when he was all the rage, all the rage, 
That's why you never know with players, man. Hot one minute. Luis Trevino. I mean, he's a player. I don't know if I could put him up on the stand necessarily. Vargas. What we got here? International Affair. Shoop. Neat card. Ichiro, 83. It's a nice looking card. He's good for posing. Don't think I can put him on the stand, though, in this particular set. Fernando Romero. That's a nice looking card, too. Bryce Harper looking over the stadium like that. Nice looking card. Two packs. Two packs left to go. Sorry I took a little while with these, but this is the kind of set I think that warrants a little bit of a slower look to it. Just to see what's going on. Tyler Wade. I like that card. Didn't turn out to be too much, but a Yankee rookie. Hector, Matt Kemp, name I haven't seen in a little while. Zach Little, Lytle, Lytle or Little, I forget how to pronounce it. I mean, good card, but he's not going to be good enough to get up onto the board here, I'm going to say. Ted Williams, Legend, the Maker, Walker Bueller, rookie card. All right, well, isn't that a, I mean, that's a, I mean, I know he's injured in this stuff, but he's a, oh, I just killed him. I got too many cards up here. He can get up there. Cole Hamels, Vargas, Joey Wendell. Last pack. I mean, you know, I feel like there aren't too many rookie cards we're looking for. Let's get a variable, or not variable, a variation of some sort or something cool. That'd be nice, but you don't want to be too, uh, too picky either, you know. Francisco Lindor All Star, Cleveland. Mookie Betts teamed up with the Dodger uh, players. Buster Posey. It's a lot of big names. Aaron Judge. Yeah, I like this card. I'm gonna put him to the side more. <laughs> in my pot. I mean, nobody's gonna want a Aaron Judge uh, All Star card. I'm assuming, but still, for me, that's a card. Braxton Lee. Not good enough to get into the big pile, but still. Jacob Barnes. And last card, Josh Hader. People talking about, God, look at, good Lord. Looks like, I don't know what. How can that guy survive that? Looks like he's going to die. Looks like he's going to crash. Arm all twisted up here. Look at this arm going the wrong way. Necks, uh, just like, good Lord. Looks like he's in a car accident. So anyway, that's the box. Um, for the giveaway now, how do we figure this out? Um, which card would I keep? I mean, I guess it comes down to the Soto, Otani, or Acuna. And I'm not going to say the Otani, even though he's so big and popular right now, but it doesn't have the rookie symbol on it. So almost don't count, it doesn't even have his name on it. Right? Yeah. Um... And this is a rookie debut of the Soto. So I think I'm going to say the Acuna. Again, I don't know if there's any variations here or whatever it might be. Glaber Torres rookie card, though. But, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, be, I'll try and be smart about it. So I'm going to keep the Ronald Acuna card. Which means that up for grabs in the giveaway. It's actually a pretty big pile. I don't know if I was supposed to just do five cards up here, but I wound up kind of loading them up there. Does anyone deserve not to be on there? Guriel can definitely be up there. I mean, Mike Trout, I kind of put up there. He's like Aaron Judge. I put up there just to say to put him up there. I don't know if I'd call him exactly valuable, but I'll leave him there. Uh, Soto, obviously for sure. The Otani card, obviously for sure. Who we got here? Oh, screw this guy. He's nobody. Don't worry about that guy. Uh, Gleyber Torres, for sure. Austin Meadows. I guess I'll keep him up there. Walker Buehler, Jordan Hicks, Adamas, I don't know. And then this uh, patch thing. So I want to be careful that we're not shipping out too many cards to the winner, though. Not to be funny, but it gets to be hard when you ship out too, too much. I need, like, the right container, I guess, or something. But this isn't too bad. So anyway, these are the cards that are going to be up for winning, along with a plethora of other cards. Hopefully that we'll have in the next two weeks before... Um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. 
Thanks for watching. Let me know what I missed. If you think there's cards that should be put into the pile, let me know. If you think there's cards that should be eliminated, let me know. Comment to get in on it. Talk to you soon. Thanks.